The blue line is the match. Tracy Stetter and I, that's me, paid a visit to Boston University to learn how one goes about creating a dictionary with no written words. And this is a video dictionary, not a print dictionary. That's right, it's a video dictionary. This computer is trying to read American Sign Language. We're tracking the hands and then matching that trajectory to a sign pattern that we've stored beforehand in our database. The reason this computer is trying to read American Sign Language, or ASL, is that Stan Skleroff and Carol Nidal want to create technology that could be used to create a video dictionary for ASL users. What we envision is a system that you would have on your computer, you would have a, a webcam, uh, or you could have it on your cell phone with a camera, mm -hmm. and you could sign to it uh, the sign that you're trying to look up, and then the system would retrieve the signs that seem to be closest to that sign. Uh, the subject uh, who will be signing is actually sitting here. These cameras record examples of signs from both native and non-native sign language speakers. Every speaker has uh, um, variations that are dependent on um, where they grew up, how old they are, um, whether they're male or female. These same kind of dialectal variations that we find in spoken language are completely comparable in sign language. We want to be able to capture many examples so that we can then use those to train computer algorithms that can become user independent and that can, can be adaptable to the variations that we encounter normally in, in sign language across individuals. So now we're in the computer laboratory across the street. Skleroff is creating algorithms that can identify hand gestures, shapes, and orientation, as well as the hand's trajectory. But getting that computer program to identify a hand in real life situations is tricky. And so the algorithm is actually looking for where the hand might be in the image and then walking along the edges to put them together to form the boundary and the fingers of the hand. Skleroff and Nidal are also working on tools for searching through ASL videos for a particular sign, similar to how Google finds written words in text documents. They hope to have working prototypes of the technology by 2011. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.